New tonight, the checkered past of Broward County's namesake. About to make this statue of him go away. But what about the name Broward County? Could that too soon be history? CBS 4's Carrie Codd just spoke with the mayor of the county. He's live tonight in Fort Lauderdale. Carrie. Rick, we did ask the mayor about that. Seems like a long shot, but as you mentioned, that statue of former Florida Governor Napoleon Brower that sits inside the courthouse only has a few more weeks inside that building. Napoleon Bonaparte Broward served as Florida's governor from 1905 to 1909, and a statue to him sits inside Broward's courthouse. His main association to the county was his work to drain the Everglades to pave the way for Broward to be the sprawling community it is today. His statue is being removed because of words he apparently wrote about his belief that whites and blacks could not coexist. According to papers found in Governor Broward's archive at the University of Florida, at some point he wrote, quote, I fear that at no distant date the tensions between the races will become so frequent and harmful, and as there can be but one result, the destruction of the Negro and the degrading of the white man, unquote. He also wrote, quote, to transport blacks to the territory purchased by the United States, the U.S. to organize a government for them of the Negro race to protect them from foreign invasion and to prevent any white people from living among them on the territory or to prevent the Negroes from migrating back to the United States, unquote. Lastly, he wrote, quote, the white people have no time to make excuses for the shortcomings of the Negro, unquote. Broward Mayor Barbara Sharif said those words have no place in a community like Broward that works to be inclusive and welcoming to all. It's not that we want to erase history, but we'll take away the painful reminder of it and we'll put it in a museum or put it where it belongs historically. But the question is, if the statue has to go, should Broward County's name be changed as well? We feel like that would be probably very difficult. This is county's over 100 years old, and um, that would take some, <laughs> some serious consideration and some serious um, will of the community and of the board. And Attorney Harold Pryor is president of the county's African American Bar Association. He says that the courthouse is a place of fairness, equality, and due process. He believes any monument inside should reflect that. The monuments inside that epicenter. Um, the paintings, the monuments should represent those tenants, and if they don't represent those basic tenants, they shouldn't be there. So again, the mayor said she expects that statue will wind up in a museum somewhere in the county and that it'll probably be taken out of the courthouse in the coming weeks. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Carrie Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight.